Hello, my name is Ardi and I want to solve practice problem 9.2 in this video. So the question is find the phase angle between I1 and I2 of the given functions and does I1 lead or like I2. Okay, we have two different functions. One is sine and one is cos. So I want to convert one of them into another. So I want to convert the sine one into cos one. So let's do that. But first, I want to copy the function. So I1 is minus 4 sine 377 t plus 55 degrees. Okay. Now, I want to get rid of this negative sign. So I want to get rid of this. How? I want to use the properties that sine of minus x is equal to sine of x so in order to do that i want to factor out minus one from the inside of the sign so let's rewrite that so you'll have minus four sine and let's factor minus one from it so i will have minus 377 of t minus 55 degrees so we can take out the negative sign here and that will cancel out with this one so it becomes positive so i will have i1 here is equal to 4 sine minus 377 t minus 55 degrees okay now let's use another trigonometric function which is cosine of x is equal to uh, sine 90 degrees minus x and this also the sine version of it so I will have sine x is equal to cosine of 90 degrees minus x so you can flip the sine and cosine with these properties so i will have here i will have i1 is equal to 4 cosine of 90 degrees here so i'll have 90 degrees and then minus minus with minus will become plus so i'll have plus 377 t and here we have minus again but it will cancel into plus so i'll have plus 55 degrees okay now let's rewrite that that i will have i1 is equal to 4 cosine of 370 70 plus 90 plus 55 that will be 145 degrees okay so this is i1 and remember we need to compare it with i2 so i2 is 5 cosine of 377 okay we have same angular frequency so no problem we can we can compare the phase and then i will have plus not plus that will be minus so minus and i will have 45 degrees okay which which phase is larger that is the one who is leading so here we have plus 145 here we have minus 45 degrees and so i1 leads i2 so i will have i1 leads i2 and by how much yeah that's the difference between the phase so i will have the phase of i1 that will be okay that's that will be 145 degrees minus minus 65 degrees so i will have the phase angle between this i1 and i2 that will be 145 plus 65 degrees that will be 200 degrees so this is the final answer of the question and hopefully i did not make any mistakes in that let me know if i did and do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.